I'm even I'm gonna, gonna record, record this thing. So to cover my tracks, you know. All right. <clears throat> Here's our agenda for tonight. <clears throat> Kinda, sorta, whatever. Um, follow up tool. I haven't even I haven't looked at it today. What what does it look like today? Well, as a I don't know. I got the cleared out. Got uh, th uh, 41, 43, something like that. When I cleared it out. I tell you, they've been they've been coming in. Uh, it seems to me, at least, uh, uh, pretty strong and steady. Um, I know there was a two day period there where we got something like almost 150 people hit it. Yeah, 74 like each day or something. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, um, <clears throat> so do, do we need any help on it? Or, or, um, do, do uh, it took me less than an hour to clear out the 70s. Okay. So, so what, you're saying no? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I want to show you something here. Uh, just keep this in mind. We got some volunteers, <clears throat> and these are people that have, you know, filled out the application for a volunteer. You seen that on on the website where people the can apply to, to be a on volunteer. The yeah, yeah. Well, these are people that have applied. Now, I haven't talked to these top two here, but I just, looking at their survey questions, uh, these are the ones that said they would contact their legislators. These are the ones that would uh, were interested in calling uh, recruits. You know, there's only one that said he had an interest in doing that. Uh, but... I uh, we talked about this as a matter of fact on a on a uh, past state call uh, earlier this week on the question of what do we do with these volunteers? Uh, Florida Florida has something like over fifty that have uh, uh, applied for this, and uh, no one had a real good answer other than. You know, try to put them in positions or or try to utilize them some way. So I don't know. You know, that's there. There, they may be some people. These may be some people that we could utilize some way or another at some point in time for something. Yeah. So I'm just throwing that out there. Yeah, I've always had a hard time trying to think of something for you know volunteers to do too. I usually fall back on. You know, like social media warrior or something like that. You know, if yeah, they aren't yeah. social media at all. But no, yeah. pay, Patriot Games kind of in limbo right now. It's I don't know. Well, I just I just wanted to throw that out there. Um, uh, where do you where did you get that? You went to um, uh, is that from the district dashboard or what? Well, they're in the LMT. Okay. Uh, under uh, volunteers. Okay. There's a volunteer category on the LMT. I just I uh, copied that to a spreadsheet. Yeah. Sure. Okay. But uh, yeah, they're in the LMT. Well, if they if we use them for like that one person for the recruiting calls, they'd have to go through a DC training, right? Right. Right. And that's just that's just it. Uh, I I think these I think these are people that that basically just wanna write letters or send emails, uh, that type of thing. And, and we just don't have a need for that right now. Well, I, you know, I know it's probably not going to come as a surprise to you, Dale, but I think the first thing we need to do is somebody needs to talk to them and find out specifically what they're interested in volunteering in and maybe let them know, you know, if they do say, oh, I only want to make phone calls or, you know, write postcards, you know, make sure they understand that we know that they're there, we appreciate it, but we don't need that at this time, but we will definitely let them know if we do. And if there are people who are interested in maybe doing something more substantive, 
then we can put them through the training program or at least the first module of the training program. So that would be my advice. Good. Well, I've, ta I've talked to all but two of them. Oh, you have? Okay. Yeah. Well, we know Jack, right, obviously. And well, yeah. Dan have yeah. been on for a while. Okay. Right. Could, right. could somebody go through the training uh, just for the knowledge of it? I like would think I module one would be, you know, like sort of, com you know, enough for them just to do module one. Maybe. Or maybe just do module one and then, you know, just have a chat with you and, you know, sort of a more informal. I'm not sure what's all in module one. Module one is the, is the, is the, the basics. Um, what is convention of states, problem solution, objections, sort of what our organization is. Okay. Um, 501c3 and 4 stuff. That, well, that comes more in um, module two, but I could certainly move it to module one if we had somebody who's only doing module one. So, yeah. Okay. DC recruitment team. Now, here's my latest, greatest, God. colorful chart. Uh, and wow. Look at all, all the blue districts are districts that, oh my God. according to my records, we haven't made any calls in. The yellow ones are ones that we have and that we've got somebody assigned. So... This is the best I can tell as to what's happening in with the ones that have been assigned so far. So where are we on this, George? Uh, hang on, I'm trying to get to the. Uh, can I close it? Yeah, crap. Hang on. I'm hanging on. I wanted to talk about something else. I got to call my spreadsheet. I got, my up, I got my updates in. Uh. Uh, <clears throat> Before I forget this, I got a bad feeling. Uh oh! Oh no! <laughs> I sent a text to Nancy Paul last night. Uh oh! And I called and left a voicemail today for her, and I have gotten no response. I just got this funny feeling. Uh, have you heard from her, uh, Rachel? Nope. That was a no? No. Yeah. Uh, I just wanted to share that feeling with you. I, I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. But... Uh, She just doesn't seem to me uh, to be the type that uh, uh, doesn't get back to you immediately, you know. So uh, let's hope maybe maybe uh, she's taking care of her elderly father. Maybe there's something wrong with him, or maybe there's something going on. So I, I what I wanted to do was I was trying to get a hold of her. I wanted to find out. What was happening, uh, you had emailed, or I think you said uh, uh, the email was sent on the 18th. Right. Uh, so a whole week has gone by here. So, okay. Okay, George, you find your spreadsheet? Yeah, I found it. I'm waiting for it to open up. What 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 were you trying to tell me about uh, uh, something that you're tracking now uh, from the follow-up tool? Oh, um, just before I clear it out, I had taken uh, um, uh, pasted to a to spreadsheet, and then I just keep track of the numbers per district of the people that um, uh, uh, people from any district, you know, like. Uh, two people from District 2 came in through the follow-up tool, uh, you know, like that. And I got uh, yesterday and today's that I did in the follow-up tool. Come are on, there uh, volunteers or just, just... No, just, just anyone. coming into the follow-up tool, everybody. Just so we can get an idea, like... Uh, 
I don't know, if we see one district, for example, that, that's like really exploding and we might want to concentrate calls in that area, um, you know, like that. Okay, it's it's opened up here. Uh, we got one more came into the LMT for District 93. Yes, I saw that. Uh, Susan Nichols. Yeah. Now that, uh, that that district had not been assigned to anybody to call. No. It was just it's blue. Okay. No, it hadn't been assigned. Uh, District 22 is almost done. There's like uh, Terry's got like five more people to call in it. Has he gotten anybody from 22? Uh, no. All right. Uh, there haven't been any new districts assigned. Uh, District 38. Uh, that's it's, you already know about this, but there's a uh, pending DC for 38. That's Drake Brown. Yeah. I did try to call him today. Uh, he doesn't okay. have his voicemail set up, so uh, yeah. uh, he didn't answer. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if I texted him or something but, uh, or whatever, but I might have, I might have called him back and got a hold of him. Well, I'll try. I'll try him again. Yeah, he, okay. he's you know he'll 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 answer. He's uh, owns a construction a contracting business. Right, right. So he, uh, if you try call him, he just may not have heard the call or right you know, something. But he said that you know whenever you call, he he can stop what he's doing and answer the call. So okay. And I, I uh, on, Diane Hurt has Diane Hurt has two T's at the end. On your spreadsheet here. All right. I got to call her back. Okay. <clears throat> okay. How okay. come we don't have any more districts assigned here? Uh. Well, I was. Well, I was wanting them to finish the districts that they already had assigned. To, before well, I gave I, them I would suggest to you when. Uh, uh, here with Ed, when when he uh, completes a district or has a person, you uh, uh, give him another district. Yeah. Okay. Same thing with Gary. Uh, we got we, we got to speed this up. We got to get uh, uh, we got to get more going here. This is going to take us forever if we don't. Uh, uh, we need to get some more help, uh, and we need to stay on top of this. So. Have you talked with uh, Mary or Tim or Brian? No. Okay. All right. Well, and don't don't get rid of your spreadsheet yet. Well, what are you going to show me here? Nothing. I'm going to take a snapshot of it. Oh. Scroll down a little bit. Yeah. Remember we had uh, trouble getting hold of Tammy Scarborough. Rachel, didn't you you met you yeah, message yeah. her about the next part? Yeah, she hasn't responded to my email for the second training module. I also sent her a message on Slack. I haven't heard back from her. I haven't actually seen her active on Slack. Yeah. Her, so I don't know what her story is. I wonder how often they're checking Slack. Well, she uses Slack for work. Oh, okay. So she's very familiar with Slack. Um, so, uh, yeah, I don't know. All right, Dale. Thank you. Okay. 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 LMT, any any update there on? Uh, I know we've talked about a few here that are. Uh, no, there were like four or five that I rejected. We told you about those in Slack. Uh, that Terry guy. Terry guy. Terrence. Terrence. 
Who? Remember we were talking about him last time, Terrence? Roselle. Roselle, yeah. I'm just curious. Uh, I don't remember seeing him in the LMT. That's the thing. He's not in the LMT, right? Like, because right, he's still right. out the survey, and he's been hanging for a while, though, right? Right. I think, George, I think you were going to call him. Yeah. Uh, yeah, He's is he the one that dropped out of the uh, LMT? No, he's the one that, uh, he's the mental therapist. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, you said there was somebody that, that just he wasn't showing up in the LMT anywhere. Right. Yeah, he said he had tried to fill out the survey a bunch of times. It didn't work, and we thought that maybe he was, Rick Hodge had, I think, brought him in, and we thought that maybe he was using Rick's, like, right, right. or something. And we yeah, I remember the deal. Yeah. No, I haven't followed up on that. Okay. Um, well, I don't have anyone in particular on the LMT. I just, uh, I know I got, I got two that I'm trying to get a hold of. Drake Brown and Susan Nichols. Um, yeah, Susan Nichols, uh, she has her own business also. Uh, she said like uh, 5.30, 6 o'clock. Uh, I think it, today you can call her. Well, all right, it's quarter after 7 now, but right. she gets home from work about 5. Um, and then, you know, about 6 o'clock she's eating dinner, so probably done with that now. You you tried getting hold of her and didn't make contact? No, or I haven't, no, I haven't <laughs> called her yet. Okay. I was going to call her tonight after our, after our meeting. Um, okay. I, well, okay, I'll, I'll save that until the end. Go ahead. <laughs> All right, uh, Rachel on training, any, any uh, more updates? Let me. I want to ask this. I see Rachel's uh, her her status report on Slack. What what were you trying to do, uh, George? By you uh, emailed me the the same thing. What, what was it different or was it the same her her same training sheet? It looks like he just put phone numbers in. Right? Oh, oh 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 yeah! I just added phone numbers. Oh, there were, oh, you had phone numbers added on there? I didn't notice that. Okay. Uh, yeah, Rachel, how do you do that? Like if, if one of us makes an edit to that, do we have to share it or just what do we, what do we have to do to put it back up? My understanding, you don't have to send it. It's just like, for example, I just pulled it up, the training yeah. tracking, and it shows with your changes. So anytime any of us make changes to this document because it's located on the Internet, it's not like a saved file. Yeah. So anytime any of us make edits to it, and the next time someone clicks on it, it's going to come up as the most updated version. So you don't have to keep sending it. I don't have to keep sending it. Anytime, Dale, you click on it, it'll take you to the most updated version. So okay, so, so, it's, always, so it's always live, basically. Yeah, basically. Okay. Yep. All right. Okay, well, I see where he's added. Okay, all right. So the next time, the next time you post something, Rachel, it should have these phone numbers on it? I just opened it. I just opened the document um, on yeah. the internet, and it shows with the phone number. So, oh, all right. Yeah, so you just anytime you want to see what the status is, of people just click on that link, and it'll take you to the most updated version. Okay. All right. Good. All right. All right. So, like, if you click on it right now, it'll open up, and it'll be the updated version. Okay. Oh, where on Slack? Where is it on Slack? Um, it's on Google Sheets, but yeah, I mean. If you click on the link I sent you on Slack, that'll work too. Or the one that George sent yesterday. Any of those will send you the same document. Yeah, that one should work. Well, this is uh, okay. I got this one now. Yeah, that should be fine. Yep, there it is. All right. Ah, oh, good though. Yeah, the uh, 
Phone numbers are on there. All right. Um, yeah, I just got tired. I just got tired of digging around for everybody's phone number every time I wanted to call somebody. <laughs> yeah, great. yeah, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Good idea. So, uh, yeah, I did. I did. I, I just remember I did try to get hold of uh, uh, Terrence Rizal, and I couldn't find him even in the uh, in the people search. Kept coming up, no results. You might be spelling it wrong. Well, I tried T E R R A N C E and E N C E, and I remember it had two Z's and two L's. Okay. I'm trying. I'm trying to search again here. While we're on this. In fact, let me. Uh, I'll just search by last name. How many results can there be? I got his phone number. You want his phone number? Uh, yeah, you can just give it to me in Slack or something. Okay. Okay. Um, how did how did uh, Tim get through module three? Is that was that just a one on one with Paul? Oh, he's oh that was a mistake. I don't know why that. You know what? Sometimes I update it. Sometimes I update the form using my phone, and it must have I must have accidentally put in the wrong. Um, yeah, no, he just did. He's through module two. Nobody's done module three yet, as far as I know. Let me get rid of that right now. I think I I told you I I, uh, I, I sent uh, a Slack to the ones that I the new DCs that you've asked me to invite to Slack, and just sent a Slack to them saying welcome, you know. Yeah. And uh, Mindy White immediately replied to me. <laughs> I thought that was I thought that was good. She immediately sent me a reply. Yeah, she. I actually heard from her on Slack. She said she was very excited about the district dashboard. She thought it was super cool, and she was super excited about it. So that was very nice. Okay. I got two Terrence Rizels. Yes. Um, one of them has a note that it that says uh, a tag for DC interest. The other one just doesn't list anything about him. Well, there should be, I should have posted a note on one of those. I don't remember which one I picked. Um, All right, we're going to delete the other one. Well, there was a question, there was a question as to what district he's actually in. Huh. And uh, I just didn't do I didn't do it with the duplicate account. Just I picked one and went with it. Uh, apparently, you picked the one that doesn't have the uh, DC interest tag. You're, you're not seeing your notes in, the, in that one. Right. Okay. Um, Rachel, any uh, well, guys, we're gonna we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to address these. Uh, well, first of all, Georgia, have you called the new district captains that haven't replied yet? Oh, uh, I tried calling a couple, and left a message. Which ones are those? Uh, I'd have to go back to my notes. Um, well, it would be uh, David Gephardt. No, I think the Kligler was one of them. Um, I can't remember the other one. Well, it looks like according to this, uh, according to this sheet. Uh, Steve uh, Frazee hasn't replied. Well, he's well. He emailed me. 
he hasn't scheduled, but he did send me an email saying that he was, right. uh, I think it was like a, yesterday saying, or two days ago saying he was in a meeting and he'd get back to me later in the day and then he didn't get back to me, so I emailed him back yesterday, so I'm going to hope that within the next day or so he gets back to me, so I put that, that he did, he's at least responded in some way. The other five, I think, haven't, I've heard nothing, so... So that would be uh, uh, Gephardt, uh, Casey Pickerel, Pingree, yep. uh, Quigler, Quigler, and uh, Alicia. Yeah, just to just say, I'll just to let you know. So I sent a. Um, I, yeah, I've been I've been communicating back and forth with Steve Frizzy for a while. He. He actually emailed me on the 15th saying that he's sorry for the delay. He's just printed the email and he has all the documents. And I just wrote back, you know, no problem. Please call me and text me to schedule as soon as you're able. And then he responded back on Tuesday saying, hi, um, I mean, I'm sorry, on Wednesday saying, I've studied all the materials. I'll text you later this evening. I'm going into my meeting right now. I'll be done with it about 7.30 or 8.00 and I haven't heard back from him. So um, That was for Z. Yeah, but it, like I said, at least I've heard from him. At least he's not completely ignoring everything. So. Okay, so he's he's still in the mix then. Yeah, I mean I think so. Okay. All right. Um, okay, so I need to call the ones that had an email sent on the twenty eighth and have not responded at all, right? Right. What about the current DCs that because they've now? I mean, it's now going on over a week with them getting emails and they haven't responded. And these are current DCs who have signed off on their training manual that it says that they're supposed to respond to all emails within 24 hours. So They're actual DCs? Yeah, like, so everybody below Gary Moore are current DCs and yeah. those have had outstanding emails for over a week that they haven't um, responded to. So I don't know if we want to Okay. Terry Compton, uh, he's had uh, spinal surgery. Okay. Uh, so we need to cut him some slack. Okay. Uh, I knew there was somebody that was getting spinal surgery. <laughs> Robert Glasscock, uh, he is in Utah, I think. So uh, we need to cut him some slack right now. Okay. Now the rest of these, okay, uh, George, I want you to contact these five new district captains, and I want you to tell them uh, that uh, if they haven't responded to Rachel by the end of the month, that we are going to uh, pull their application. Are we going to say responded, or are we setting a deadline for them just to get back to me, or for them to actually have their scheduled training started? To get to get scheduled. Okay, so they need to have a scheduled training of at least module one by the end of the month. Right. Okay. Okay. And uh, I'm going to call the existing DCs. Okay. I will call them. Great. Okay. So that's uh, Mike Farina, Walt Brown. Now, I, Walt Brown is—he's puzzling to me. I mean, he—he he wanted this, and and now he—it uh, really, really upsets me. And I don't know, Mary, I guess, is, uh, I know she's working full-time now, but right. James uh, Hunnell, uh, I know he wanted this, too. Brian, Ninian, and Ed Paraguay, I don't know what's ha happening with him. No, I talk to Ed once a yeah. week, so. Okay, I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to threaten anything or, or set any deadlines for them right now. Right. But uh, I'm going to 
tell them that we will have to do that eventually if they don't respond. But I, I'm just going to try and uh, get them to get off the uh, get off the button here. We'll see what happens. Okay. Okay. Anything else on the training? Uh, no, just just updating as far as the current. So far, I've trained two current people, and they were both able to get through the first and second modules at once. So that's kind of. I'm still going to be flexible, and I tell them that to start out. But you know, I don't need to spend 15 minutes going through Slack with them or going through the district dashboard for 20 minutes. Um, so uh, I was able to push through Peter and Tim through to the first two modules in just one session. So, um, I did get some, you know, I've been, I got to tell you, Dale, I've been getting feedback from the current DCs about the training manual, unsolicited. <laughs> People are not happy. I saw your message about, you know, potentially changing a signature page, but it's really, it's frustrating to me. So, I'm going to be kind of listening to everyone's, everyone's comments. I mean, I'm going to have to go out of my way and, you know, be much more specific in the first module about the training manual and kind of, which, is, which just frustrates me as you know, because we have no control over it, um, but I'm hoping we don't have any other problems with the training manual. So I do, too. I do, yeah. too. Uh, I did mention to uh, Richard um, Fitzsimmons, you know, that the training manual is more of a technicality, you know, the one from National, that uh, we in the state here, you know, we've, we've got our own training and that uh, National put it out as a guide. It's not anything that's written in stone. Right, but right. Uh, he you know, didn't seem to care about it. I mean, there's something else going on with him or whatever that I don't know, maybe his wife's yelling at him about <laughs> getting involved. Yeah, I think, I I think he was in, in my in my conversations with him he, he seemed so gun ho uh, for lack of a better term. I mean, he just seemed uh, really motivated, and he really wanted to do this. And I, and I think something has happened, and I think he's using this training manual as a as an out. Um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm not. Maybe uh, I, mean, I don't know. I mean, why, it, it maybe, but it seems like it would be easier for him to just tell us, you know, something's come up in my you know, personal life and I can't do it. Um, yeah, so I don't I know. know. I he know. was very good with tra he was very good in the first module. I've been I was communicating with him after his first training module where he was following up on some of the stuff we talked about. So yeah, I agree. He was very invested. So I mean, it doesn't really matter um, what the reason is, but you want me to read the last text I got from him? I got this. Uh, yeah, it's at the end. I got this. Uh, March Thursday, March twenty second at 10.18 p.m., and he was responding to me sending him a text, and he said, 10-4, for now I'm just going to soak up all the COS information I have downloaded and this training experience, which was great, and put myself better informed. I do still believe in the very foundation of this cause to awaken the people to the power of their sovereignty in their state uh, of these United States through the recognition of Article 5 in our nation's laws, the Constitution, a beacon, a lighthouse, to light our way back home. So maybe he's off his medication now. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't It's hard to figure, man. Hard to figure. Uh, <laughs> it, you know, it, it Pretty much irked me that he dropped out, but yeah, yeah. Now, he was like the first one of the group, you know, that, that came on. He was he was the first puppy. I I put him in Slack and I got yelled at for. <laughs> I know, I remember. Yeah, yeah. He's the one that set up a Facebook page. Yep, yep. Yeah, you know, and it's funny because you know it would I could see sometimes somebody getting overwhelmed when they get the materials for the first training module but he went through the first module and like I said I got several texts from him after the first module was finished you know with him extrapolating on some of the things we talked about so I don't know it was really only when I 
Um, I sent him the second module, and then I sent him a Slack message, I believe, to remind him to schedule the second module, and that was when I got the text from him saying that he couldn't do it. So, I don't know. Do you tell them how to, uh, about notifications in Slack? Yes. Okay. But they have to actually watch the video to, <laughs> to know about that, right? Well, I do want to, I do want to tell you this. Uh, I was talking to someone that has been, that's going through the training. And, uh, they are telling me, I was getting some feedback from this person with regard to the training. Okay. And are you ready? I want you to be ready for this now. <laughs> I'm not ready if it's bad. I'm only ready if it's good. <laughs> okay, go ahead. And this person says that Rachel is doing a tremendous job. Aw. Yay. Wow. And that... Uh, this person thought it was great. Oh, good. Uh, I know who it was. I feel like I know who it was too, actually. But you probably, probably do. Just because of some people that you talked to re recently, but yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's nice. Well, he told me that he messaged. He told me he messaged Dale. So. Yeah. But uh, that's good feedback. That's good feedback, oh, good. and I and I'll, I'll swear. Uh, uh, I wish to goodness I had had this when I started. I know, me so. too. <laughs> yeah, you too. I had Gary Hall. <laughs> well, I had Gary too. Thank goodness for Gary, because uh, Gary did help me an awful lot. Uh, but, you know, Gary, there, there wasn't, as you remember, George, there wasn't any set program. He was just there to answer questions that we might have. Yeah. Wait, guys, hold on for one second. I'll be back in a minute. My cat just knocked over soda onto the carpet. I can still hear you, but I'm just going to step away while I cleaned up before it's clean. But I can okay. hear you. <laughs> I talked to Gary today, Dale. You did, really? Yeah. You know he had trouble with his knees, right? Yeah, yeah. And he had, he had complication with the one surgery. Yeah. Uh, well, he got a blood clot in his leg, and it was like, there was all kinds of complications with that. Well, he... Uh, like earlier this week, uh, he got that taken care of. He went up to uh, up into Michigan to a specialist up there, and they had it all straightened out for him. He had a blood clot, and it hardened up in his arteries, or in his vein, and his behind his knee, and it was painful. And one doctor told him, well, they could put like a bypass around it and stuff, but eventually it would it crap out, and he'd probably end up having to get his leg amputated and this kind of stuff. So he uh, researched it and found out found this other doctor that had a different uh, not a not a uh, um, testing kind of thing, but he, he the, the doctor had done it on several other patients and it seemed to work okay. And uh, so they agreed they agreed to have it done and and it went well. And so he's, he's recuperating from that now, and he well, says he's, it's he's been battling that for yeah over a year. Over a year, hasn't it? It's been yeah. well over a year, I think. Yeah. Wow. Well, he, quit, he quit smoking on on Valentine's Day this year. Oh, he did really. Uh, yeah. Well, good for him. Uh, do you know? Um, I got to get hold of Paul, but uh, Lincoln Day coming up. Uh, do you know if anybody besides Paul is going to that? I'm going to kind of plan on going to it. Well, Allen County Lincoln Day dinner. Which which one are you talking about? Allen County Lincoln Day dinner. Okay. The one where they're going to have a debate. Between what, date, on, what date is that one? April 23rd. If there's 10 people, you can reserve a table. And uh, uh, Gary asked me about that. He, he said he, 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 I asked him if he was going, and he, he, he said, well, wasn't planning to, but he said, you know, if we're going, then he'll go. He, he said if we get a table that he'd sit with us and stuff. <laughs> you need you need you need ten people in order to reserve a table. Right, right. That's. Well, I, I imagine I, I'm going to the one in DeKalb County. Yeah. Uh, I hadn't decided on the one for uh, Allen County, but I. Yeah, I was going to ask you on that, but I want to hear the debate. Yeah, yeah. 
Uh, well, if I go to the one on Allen County, I'll probably just go as a single person. And uh, I don't know what the cost is this year. Do you know? No. The one time I went, it was like $65 or something. Yeah. Plus, I had to run a tux or a suit. <laughs> Uh, I'll have to decide whether I'm going to do that or not, but I am going to the one in DeKalb County. Um, just to go back to the to the training stuff for a second. Um, yeah, we were waiting for you, Rachel. What? We were waiting for you to get no, back. I, 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 know, I could hear. I heard you. I was just like I was two feet away, just cleaning the carpet, dabbing the uh, soda off the carpet. Um, so I can say that, you know, for my part, like, obviously it's a lot of work, it's a lot of time, but I feel like it's great. I love the fact that I'm getting to meet these people, getting to know them, um, especially with some of the current people. You know, I've never met most of our current uh, district captains. So it was nice to actually, like, you know, put a face to the name. We hear people's names and see people's names. So I, it's been it's been invaluable. I feel like it's 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 a good... So it, the point I'm trying to make is that it's you know mutually beneficial. Is that I'm getting something out of it also, um, and I think we have great. We have so many. We have so and so far. I mean, everybody's just so so motivated and so invested and really smart people. And I, I think we did a great job at recruiting. That's the sort of um, we found. I think we found some great people. So good, good. Well, I'll tell you uh, from uh, uh, my. Experience on uh, national calls um, and on that uh, past state call here earlier this week. Uh, we're we're doing the right thing. Uh, I think there are, there are other states that are trying to do the same thing in in some different form, but I think we're I think we're going about it the right way. Yeah. So. Uh, um, Keep up the good work. Okay. Okay. Uh, the other thing I had on the agenda is um, given the the uh, with the training program the way we're going right now with it with as many people involved as we have now and with this recruitment team that uh, DC recruitment team that we need to get going and speed up and uh, uh, get uh, more coverage that uh, I think we need to start uh, having a grassroots meeting like this uh, I don't know perhaps weekly for a while so that we can keep things updated what do you think um, you mean between the three of us or, or what, yeah. what oh. well between the three of us but I'm also open to uh, inviting in the uh, people that are that's that are on the uh, recruitment team. Mm. Okay. Yeah, so that's not good. Yeah, uh, we, we can, yeah, weekly shouldn't be too bad. I mean, I don't know how okay we'll to you, on. Rachel. Yeah, that's fine. For a while, we don't we don't we don't have to do it uh, forever this way. But I just want to. I, I just want to, I have a need to, to uh, you know, know what's going on. So uh, is, is this uh, Friday evening? Is this a good time for uh, for you? Yeah, I guess, yeah. Not much mm -hmm. different than any other night for me. So. Um, yeah, it usually works for me too. Unless I have, sometimes I have friends that come into town and they come in on Friday during the day, but um, you know I could take away you know for a half hour, forty five minutes if I have to for a call. Okay, so let's let's just plan on uh, seven p.m. Fridays, and we'll just plan on the next one being uh, then next Friday, the thirtieth. So uh George get that get that uh recruitment team going. And I think I think you need to get some more help on it. Yeah, I'll call those other uh and I don't know, maybe you know maybe you know some other district captains that maybe would want to help. Also, uh, hopefully hopefully you know, if if we can get some of these people going, I mean, you know, if I have a good week 
with, you know, 10 people scheduled or, you know, a good couple of weeks with, you know, people scheduled, I'll probably be able to have time to get back on and start helping with the calls again. Well, okay. All right. So. But I think you you got you got your hands full right now it seems like so Yeah, definitely right now but you know since Paul's doing Paul's going to be doing um module 3 and George is going to be doing module 4, I'm going to have a period of time where I'm going to probably be doing nothing. Um so I'll definitely pitch back in when we get there. All right. All right. All right. Well, and at some hopefully I, I still want to get Tammy involved in this so um uh, we have currently lost touch with her, right? I mean, well, we have, sort of. we're waiting for her to get back or something. We're waiting for her to. Uh, okay, where 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 is she on here? Uh, da, 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 da. Um, I sent her a Slack message. Let's see where I sent her. She, she, um, okay, she's she completed module one. Yes, yeah. and I sent her a Slack message on March twentieth, reminding her. Didn't okay. hear back from her. All right. Okay. Now, also uh, want to mention to you uh, while I got you on, our state call is the 28th next Wednesday. So uh, both of you be ready to kind of give an update on your area um, and what what's going on for the um, uh, on the state call. On that, Dale, um, Mindy will be done with Module 2 on Tuesday, so she should be invited to the state call as well as David Thornton. When, and what time are those, 8 o'clock? Yeah. Okay, I had, I had David on there, uh, but I'll add Mindy, and I also wanted to... Uh, also have uh, Nancy and uh, Victor on the call too. Vic Victor is our uh, Veterans Coalition coordinator, yeah, and uh, okay. he's accepted that role. I think I got him assigned. Yeah, he showed up. He's, he's listed as assigned now in the LMT. And uh, just probably just took time to work through the system, but he's there now as assigned. Well, they, they've they've changed it a little bit. When when uh, when you go to assign someone now, you have to uh, fill this box out uh, saying why you're doing this. Yeah, yeah, I noticed that. <laughs> yeah, and and it won't. I I think it it won't it won't uh, assign the person until you. It oh. won't give you that option to assign until you put something in that box. Yeah, they want a reason for give for you wanting to assign them. Yeah. Right. It's, it's just making a note about it, which we we're probably doing anyway, but just now we gotta do it. Right. Gotta do it now. So uh okay. Yeah, first time I ran into that it made me cuss. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell's going on here now? Why would it air it out? What the hell? Right, right. We run into little surprises like that every once in a while. All right. Well, that's uh, that's all I got for tonight. Anybody got anything else? Oh, you got to do that when you reject somebody too. <laughs> By the way, any you kind of, any kind of change in a person's assignment, you got to leave a note as to why. When I when I rejected Richard, I had to leave a note for him too, or about him. Oh, I might mention also. This was this was mentioned on the uh, state director's call last night. I don't know if you heard about this, but they changed uh, a couple uh, of the social capital items. Ah, and now yeah, they talked about that in the grassroots coordinator call too. If you make a phone call. Uh, I think you used to get two points, and they raised it now to seven. Oh, wow. That's huge. <laughs> Different. Yeah, they want people to make phone calls. <laughs> they really want you to make phone calls. But you've got to use the phone call, and I haven't been doing this, but you got to use the phone call option in Citizen Builder. Uh, right. I mean, I... I, I 
I'm not going to worry about it myself. I'm not sure what I, that. I, I, no, I think I think what they just mean is that when you put a note in Citizen Builder, you know there are the three options. It says email, phone, and note. Right. They probably mean that it only counts if you click on the phone you put in right. under right. phone, right? I mean that doesn't change any. Uh, that just you, you still can post a note, right? You can post a note separately. You can post yeah. If you yeah, if you click on phone, it still allows you to put in information about the details. So like when I was making the recruitment calls and I would call somebody, I would click on the phone and then I would type in what happened on the phone call, like left a message or whatever, and then okay. click and save. So I think that if you, um, I think the reason that I, I assume the reason that that's true is maybe there's a way to search or filter by contact and filter out. I haven't tried to do this, but sort of so that you can get a list of people who've been called or find out when the last phone call was made. Um, so maybe that's why they have a special button that they want you to use if it's if a call is being done by phone, something's being done mm. by phone. So could be. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, it just gives them a base criteria to search by. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. All right, guys. Okay. Have a good evening. Have a good weekend. Um, Sounds good. We'll be talking to you. Because um, so we're going to meet uh, Wednesday and then again on Friday, right? So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, Dale, let me know if you want to talk about um, my training that I did with Peter. I don't want to forget. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's nothing earth-shattering, but I thought you might want to follow up on that. Yeah, yeah. At some point. Not urgent. All right. I'll be around if you want to call sometime. All right. Again. Okay. All right, thanks. All right, guys, bye. Night. Bye, everyone.